What is up you guys? Welcome to the video. I wanted to start by showing you these cute pants I just bought from Old Navy. They are literally the most comfortable pajama pants ever. They're like ribbed and super soft and they were $5 from Old Navy. I look like the biggest grunge right now. I finished, um, I just finished for, no, like 25 minutes of hit cardio and then I did, um, abs and then I went and got a massage, so I'm just like really super disgusting right now. Now I'm gonna go sit in the sauna because Gracie wants to go sit in the sauna. Then we're gonna get carbolite, so I just look like a little troll. But this is this is the true life of a fitness girl, right? Like, do I ever look attractive? I'm not sure. But anyway, I will catch you guys in the next clip. Hopefully, looking a little more decent, but probably not. So I kind of feel like I'm always in the same spot in my kitchen when I do a haul, but. This is just like the perfect place for it, but I need to get my tripod, which is this mug, and then I flip it upside down, and sometimes that makes it tall enough, but probably not. So, I just got back from Target. Um, I went to get in the sauna, and then went to get Carbolite, and then stopped at Target. I still have um, one meal left. I have like oatmeal, but I picked up some things. I guess I will just share with you guys, um, like stuff that I use on a day-to-day -day basis that's like, I don't know, but I I always like people telling me like stuff that they use because it's maybe stuff that's cheaper or like more effective or whatever than what I use, so whatever. Anyway, so I use baby wipes on my face instead of using like makeup remover because it's like a dollar fifty for 800 of them versus paying like a million dollars. I use this stuff on my hair and they only had the big one, so I had to like break down and buy the expensive one. I really didn't freaking want to, even though I know it's gonna last me really long. This is like my favorite hair care product. It's the only thing I've ever found that like actually works on my hair and makes it soft. Picked up one of these little like scrubby brushes for before I get my spray tan, before my competition. Apparently you're supposed to like exfoliate a lot. So I picked up one of these from, all this stuff's from Target. Dry shampoo, my roots are really bad right now. So using dry shampoo a lot. I got these hair ties because the hair ties that I'm using right now are just like ripping my hair apart. And I usually use these like soft ones, the ones that like don't rip your hair apart. And I like them, they don't leave as bad of a kink. Also got a mirror for backstage, um, just in case there's not a mirror. I like this one because it sits down. I didn't want to have one that I would have to hold. Like obviously I can hold it, but it also sits down and it flips to be like closer or further away. Um, picked up some white strips. Picked up some things, a gift for someone that I cannot show you. Got a hydrating mask. I feel like my skin has been so dry lately, so I picked up one of these. I'm gonna like put this on for an hour tonight. Got a nice little comfy looking t-shirt. I don't know, I thought it was cute. And you can tell I like olive green because everything I freaking buy is olive green or gray. And some salsa for the Mexican bowl I'm going to make for tomorrow. So that's all I got. It was $118 and I'm not happy about it. That's because I bought white strips and this ish is not cheap, but it does last forever, I'll tell you that. It lasts, this will last me for like half a year, so whatever. Anyway, that's all I got and I will catch you guys in the next clip. Happy Monday, except by the time you're seeing this, it is Tuesday. I am headed to Indianapolis again because I have cryotherapy. This will probably be my second to last session. I plan on doing it a couple days before my first show, so. Yeah, I think I told you guys I was getting a massage yesterday, but it was seriously the most amazing thing in the entire world. So it was like a sports massage, so it hurt, and I wanted her to focus on my hamstrings, and she got like on top of my hamstring and put pressure on my hamstring, um, like with her whole body, and then I had to lift my, like from my kneecap up, like I had to, like I was doing a leg curl, and so when I lifted my leg, it, she like, it dug more in, because as you're lifting, and some, like if pressure's on there, and as you're lifting, it's gonna press down into it, because your muscle um, is going to be flexing and like expanding up. Um, I'm explaining this horribly, but basically it dug out like my whole hamstring, and it felt so good, and my hamstrings like are still tight just because like they always are but nowhere near what they were my hips feel a little bit better because of it but anyway headed to indy got on probably the bummiest outfit i can possibly have on i've got on some lululemon pants and this is a shirt i got at target yesterday 
It's so comfortable. I love it. Um, I really want to wear my this jacket right here, but it's also the same color, so probably not going to do that. But anyway, not that it matters because I'm just going to be in the car. But I will catch you guys in the next clip. Probably at cryo. Not sure. But yeah, catch you guys then. So we are almost to cryotherapy. Stopped and got some coffee on the way. I'll be giving up coffee on Wednesday. I haven't had coffee in a while, but I was super tired this morning. Um, I just get like black coffee with a little bit of steamed almond milk. Wow, this lighting is very unflattering. Um, and then after cryo, I'm gonna have my first meal. So it is 11.30, so I was able to put off my first meal for a decent amount of time, which I'm pretty happy about. Um, I've been trying to like intermittent fast a little bit each day, just like kind of push back my meals because I get super hungry late at night um, and I'm just giving myself a smaller window to eat my meals in. So that's what I've been trying to do. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, but anyway, I will catch you guys at the cryo. It's not it's focusing. For the first time. Like, oh, yeah. For the first time. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> My driving probably didn't help either. <laughs> 125. What was it? 125. Oh. It's usually like 112. Mine's usually like. That was wine. Yeah, it's clear wine. <laughs> My Fitbit's vibrating. You're low. Somebody's calling me. It feels less cold. Maybe it's not as cold the first time. What? Like maybe mine was colder because you went first last time? Yeah. So that's probably horrible logic. He's like, no, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't it, it never it never gets easier, so Yeah. Like no, I, it doesn't. to this day still just like I mean, I tell myself I'm never gonna make it through this three minutes every yeah. time I get in there. So yeah. yeah, it never gets easier. How how long do you do it for when you come in here? Um three minutes. I, yeah. I shoot for three every single time. You just so. never think you're gonna make it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it didn't get hard until Are you I supposed to move. I can't remember if you're supposed yeah, to move. Yeah, yeah I, moving is good. Okay. I did just because otherwise I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Okay, these are my oats. I have a whole packet of oat fit in there. And I actually made chai this morning and instead of water, well also with water, I used chai, so I feel like it looks a lot smaller, but it's gonna be delicious. So I have in here spaghetti squash. I think it's like one and a half servings, which is 150 grams, and ends up being like eight carbs. Chicken, salsa, a little bit of black beans, and just a little bit of chips to add on there like for some texture. I'm just gonna crinkle them up and add them on top. I know it looks like nothing, but it just kind of like adds texture. What's up guys? I hope you are enjoying the video so far. So welcome to my leg day workout. I started off with some deadlifts. They felt super uncomfortable. So I actually decided to go ahead and call it quits after like two sets of deadlifts. I went ahead and actually moved on to doing power cleans. Since when you do power cleans, you actually are doing um, a deadlift and a front squat. Um, you will see me here in the second rep. Now, it has been a while since I have done power cleans and you'll see me just totally fumble over my form. Um, I am very comfortable doing power cleans, but even someone like myself who feels totally comfortable and confident in the gym um, falls like that every now and again, and that's okay. Don't ever get embarrassed for something like that happening. Um, just realize what happened, and I didn't get under the weight enough. I didn't, my wrists didn't rotate like they should have, and the weight, uh, the weight just pulled me backwards. I just didn't get it in the right position. My body just wasn't aligned properly, so I moved on and kept going. I then did some stiff leg deadlifts. Um, I literally never do these in shorts. Um, I'm super uncomfortable, like squeezing my butt when I'm wearing shorts. Um, hindsight's 2020. That's pretty much all I can say about it. But you'll notice how, even though I'm wearing shorts, um, I still do squeeze my butt awkwardly in the gym. Um, I did record some lunges but it's like pretty much just a straight shot of my vagina so I'm not going to put that in here because I know people are going to hate on it really hard. So this is all the rest of the workout that you're going to see so I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, I always show glute hip thrust just to kind of emphasize the fact that you really should be squeezing very very aggressively at the top 
So again, that's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. All right, you guys, that is going to go ahead and wrap today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Just enjoyed seeing a little more vloggy stuff. Um, been kind of trying to pick up the camera a little bit more. I feel like my life tends to be really repetitive, but when I do things like cryotherapy, I try to include that stuff because I feel like it's a little bit different. But hope you guys enjoyed it and got something out of it. I'm officially 12 days out, I believe, from my first show. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!